In today's episode, we are in Springfield, Missouri, where we will spend the day exploring the largest immersive wildlife attraction in the world, Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium. So come along with us and let's do a complete walkthrough of this spectacular property. Hello, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Brenda. Welcome to another exciting adventure with Have, Have Fun, Fun, Let's, let's travel. travel. Come join us. Today has been a cool, rainy November day, and we have found ourselves in Springfield, Missouri. We've read where the Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium was voted America's Best Aquarium, as well as the Best New Attraction by USA Today readers. So, we decided to check it out for ourselves. As we walked through the entry doors and entered the Great Ocean Hall, we were amazed at the size of this place. There are life-size sea creatures suspended above our heads. There's even a real fishing boat that belonged to Ernest Hemingway that seems to be free floating in midair just above us. As we began our tour, we found ourselves inside the open ocean room. This is a spectacular fish freeway where we catch the fish swimming in circles all the way around us. We were in awe and we were just now getting started. This exhibit is known as the Living Bait Ball. There are 6,000 herrings swimming in formation to confuse and intimidate potential predators. Talk about hypnotizing. The museum and aquarium spans 350,000 square feet and has over one and a half miles of trails to explore. It was designed to take visitors on a journey that will be entertaining as well as educational as it teaches about some of America's most significant conservationists. This experience celebrates those who hunt, fish, and act as stewards of the land and water. And the best part of it all, it's indoors and it has escalators and elevators for people like us who have mobility issues. Let's take a look at Australia's Great Barrier Reef. This is a three-story saltwater aquarium teeming with colorful reef fish, including potato cod, Queensland's grouper, moray eels, and several others that I won't try to pronounce. Be sure to look up over your head for a life-size humpback whale and calf swimming above you. The IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame displays images and gear of some of the sport's most accomplished men and women. There are interactive exhibits, personal artifacts, and the world record fish mounts from both freshwater and saltwater. You've heard of Air Force One, meet Bass Force One, a tracker boat Johnny Morris gifted to President George W. Bush. The Hall of Fishing Presidents has historic photos and artifacts from the United States presidents who were enjoying one of America's greatest pastimes with a rod and a reel in their hand.
As we entered the shipwreck reef, we felt like we were in the depths of the ocean exploring a sunken ship that is now home to colorful reef creatures including eels, goliath grouper, lobsters, and more. Now here's something I'm familiar with. Growing up in Louisiana, I spent many days hunting and fishing in the swampy areas. This area seems to transport me back in time. Just look at all the cypress trees. Let's keep a sharp watch out for nocturnal animals like owls, alligators, beaver, black bear, and more. Can you spot any? We continued on to explore the Ozarks through its rivers and streams exhibits. Here we encountered even more wildlife. These displays seem to make the great outdoors come to life with trout streams and a lake filled with paddlefish, sturgeon, and bass. We got to peek beneath the surface of local rivers and streams to see some paddlefish, sturgeon bass, and even more gar. Although we didn't get to see it this time, we were told that we may get to see one of the divers feeding the fish. I guess we'll just have to come back and see that another time.
Have you ever wanted to watch sharks swim in the ocean, but you wanted to stay a safe distance away? We felt like we were out to sea when we watched sharks, goliath grouper, and dozens of colorful reef fish swimming around. This room has this very special feature. You can go underwater in a cage and watch the shark swim around within each of you. If you dare, that is. This is something that's extra and you'll have to register for it and there is an extra fee along with it. The Amazon rainforest area is full of exotic creatures to admire. These include poison dart frogs, red belly piranhas, toucans, a two-toed sloth, and more. The National Bass Fishing Hall of Fame is a must-see for all of you anglers and fans from around the world. This under river exhibit allows you to stand at the bottom of a flowing freshwater river as bass, walleye, gar, and other fish swim alongside and above you. This exhibit was featured on Animal Planet's hit show, Paint. The jellyfish, seahorses, spider crabs, and the giant Pacific octopus were mesmerizing. 
We've seen these on TV, but it's something about seeing it with your own two eyes that makes it something that you'll never forget. This massive collection of living coral reef and seashells from around the world was very impressive. Here's something that we didn't expect to see. This pathway took us inside a limestone cave where we saw Ozark's topography, encountered bats flying around, and we even saw some blind cave fish. If you didn't know better, you would swear you were deep underground.
Walking through the massive underwater tunnel, we saw some of the world's largest freshwater monster fish. These included a seven-foot alligator gar, some giant Amazon fish, whose names, again, I can't pronounce, some exclusive freshwater rays, and shark catfish from Southeast Asia. It felt like you were right there in the water with them. Continuing on down the pathway, we returned to the swampy area. This time, we were closer to an albino alligator, some ducks and flamingos, and several other species of wildlife that we had seen from up above. Around another corner, the room opened up and we found ourselves at the bottom of the shipwreck and the steam ray exhibit. As we made our way around the room, we watched people sticking their hands in the water trying to touch a stingray as it swam past them. The sounds of their laughter in the room when someone got splashed by the stingrays was very refreshing to hear. Watch the funny acrobats of this huge fish. Seem like he has a sense of humor too. Before you leave this room, be sure to let your little ones color a picture of a fish for the interactive show. They will be amazed to see their artwork swimming around on the big giant animated fish tank above them. Look at here, someone painted one to look like Santa Claus. Be sure to check out some of our other videos that explore a few of the other properties designed and developed by Johnny Morris, the owner of Bass Pro Shops. You'll find links to each of these in the description below. Have you ever visited the Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium in Springfield, Missouri? Or do you plan to in the future? We would love to hear your comments. Also, we would love it if you would hit the like button to let us know that you enjoyed our video. And if you haven't done so already and you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our future adventures. Thanks for spending some of your time with us today. Stay safe and remember, have fun, let's travel.